Okay, here we have two lines, two equations of lines, and we're going to find the slope of each one of the lines and then to figure out whether they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So to start out, I'm going to rewrite both of my lines. Uh, 3x minus 2y equals 6. It's my first one. And then 2x plus 3y equals 3. We need to find the slope for each one of these first. Okay, so looking at the first line, I want to get the y alone, so I need to move this 3x to the other side. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides to remove it. Now we have negative 2y equals, again I'm going to put the x's in front, so negative 3x and positive 6. Now we still want y alone, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 2 to get that y all by itself. So y will equal negative divided by negative is positive, so this would be 3 halves x, we can't reduce that down any. Here, this will actually divide nicely. A positive 6 divided by a negative 2 is a negative 3. So the slope here for this line is 3 halves. Remember, your slope is what's in front of the x in that position. Okay, now let's go through and find the slope for the second line. And again, I want y alone, so I'm going to subtract 2x to move it to the other side. So now we have 3y equals negative 2x plus 3. I'm put that in the right order. Now I want y alone, so I'm going to divide everything by 3. So that tells us then that y will equal, here we have negative 2 divided by 3, we're just going to have to leave that as negative 2 thirds x, and a positive 3 divided by 3 is a positive 1. So our slope here now is negative 2 thirds, that's what's in that m position in our um, formula or our equation. All right, these are now perpendicular lines. The reason that I know that they're perpendicular is because they are the opposite in sign. One is positive, the other one is negative, and they are reciprocals of each other. They are the flip. This is what tells us that if we were to graph out those two lines that they would meet at a 90 degree angle.